How's everybody doing? Uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, the project I have for you is uh, some lawnmower wheels. So this uh, used to be a self-propel uh, model, but uh, I have turned it into a non-self-propel because it wasn't working properly. So uh, what I'd like to do with these front wheels that were the self-propel wheels is to uh, actually uh, have them sort of free spin, just like any old normal non-self repel. So that's what I'm going to do with this front wheel. This back wheel, I'm going to see if I can do anything about this wobble. So I got a trick up my sleeve for that guys, I'll show you. And uh, hope you enjoy the video. So first things first, I think I'll uh, work on this back wheel first. I always take these wheels off and uh, lubricate the adjusters and then uh, also lubricate the, um, the, sh the shaft as well. So in this case it was a three quarter inch. On the back side we have a, uh, it looks like a washer, flat washer, some other spacer, and then you've got the bolt. Now this bolt's in pretty rough shape, and uh, it has probably made an egg shape out of the sort of passageway on this wheel. So that's why it's kind of wobbling all over the place, guys. So what we're going to do is uh, first I'll lubricate these. Uh, adjusters so whatever kind of lubrication you have just spray a whole bunch of it in that area So what I normally do to fix this wobble, and it's not really fixing the wobble, there's no way you can fix that hole that's too big now. You can see it's just way too big. But what you can do is try and remove some of the slack. Let's see if I can get a good angle on this, probably not. Yeah, there you go. So you can see this bolt has a shoulder on it, and if you can line that shoulder up with the edge of the wheel right here and get rid of that little space that little shoulder um, it won't spin as freely but it won't wobble either so it's a bit of a compromise so I'm gonna try and use some washers and uh, usually a 12 millimeter or half inch uh, flat washers that are hopefully right around that size will do let's see what I can find all right, guys. So I was able to find a washer. This uh, looks like a 12 or a half, 12 mil or half. So all I'm trying to do there is find a washer that will take up the majority of that shoulder, and that looks like it just might do. So I'll put that on there. Put my other two washers back on that were on there. Spacer and a washer. Put all that back together now. I'm not going to go ahead and put any more grease on here because it already rolls pretty good. And there you go. All the wobble is gone. And again, it doesn't spin as freely, but it's a compromise. It's definitely not going to hinder, it's not going to really create a large amount of resistance for the user. So I'm happy with that. I can put the hubcap back on here now. There we go, hubcap's back on. The wheel spins nice and firm. Alright, now we'll move to this front wheel. So 
this front wheel is a little bit different. It's got a cotter pin in it. So I'm just going to take the flat head screw driver. We'll take that cotter pin out. It's got a flat washer. Uh, there's usually a whole bunch of other washers and stuff behind this guy, so just be careful when you take it all off. I don't know about this one in particular, but... Alright, so the self-propelled wheel is in pretty much perfect shape as far as the gears are concerned. But that gear is creating some resistance when I'm trying to walk with it. So, what I'm going to do is try and get this gear off. And then it'll just spin freely on this shaft. And I'll obviously clean this up. So it looks like a snap ring fires here. So it looks like there's a snap ring there. Let's see if it's not all rusted. If it is, I don't really care because I might just snap it off anyways. Now these things usually go flying across the room. These in the Eclipse, but that one was okay. I'm just going to take that gear right off. Don't need it anymore anyways. I try to save these if they're in good shape because you never know when you might need another one. And I could probably do away with this guy too. Alright, so I'm just going to clean this shaft up now. Yeah, there's no way I'm never going to ever get it perfect. Let's see how this guy fits on there. Okay, so I will put a little bit of lubrication on this guy, some regular all-purpose grease, not very much though, grease does attract dirt, it just becomes a bad gob. Now I also have to do this adjuster as well, this one looks just as seized as the last one. Sometimes looks can be deceiving. This guy's ready to go back on. We'll see if it has any wobble as well. We might have to do the same to this guy as we did the other one. This guy on. So there is a little bit of wobble, but I think that's a bit a pretty uh, respectable amount. It's not too bad, not like the back one was. And there you go, zero resistance on the wheel if you that gear. So that's going to fix that problem. This thing's going to roll nice now. All right, guys. So uh, I think I'm just going to uh, do the same on the other side. But uh, those just a couple of little tips there for you uh, regarding wheels. Uh, I always stock all sorts of different size uh, widths of those half inch and uh, 12 millimeter um, washers so you can do stuff like that and uh, so thanks again for joining me guys and uh, as always if you enjoyed the content please go ahead and leave me a uh, thumbs up there at the bottom and hit the subscribe button it really helps me out on the channel and uh, until the next project guys you guys take care